it's Lori here with my unempties for the week. It's much shorter than the empties, believe me. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Let's jump into some of these scents. I did mention, hopefully you stuck around to the end. If I didn't bore, <laughs> bore you to tears <laughs> with all of my empties, but what I'm going to be doing, at least we're going to try it for this month. We'll see how it works. And if it works out well, it might be an ongoing feature at the end of this month. So the last week of the month, I am going to be doing my basket of leftovers, which I know sounds really appealing, but things that I didn't finish up, so things that were in my unempties or things that I didn't even get around to melting because I had too many pulled for the week, but that would be kind of fun. I hate putting back, okay, something like this, okay? <laughs> I just don't like putting that back, and then sometimes I just keep it in my box or basket in my, like this was a bedroom set. So I'll just keep it in there. And then by the time I finish it up, I'm sick of it. So <laughs> so what I might do, I think it might be better to just put those aside and maybe melt them at the end of the month. So we'll see how that works out. Okay, so these are my unempties. I was really feeling it wasn't in my basket originally, but I pulled it out because I just really felt like this. Rose Girls Banana Bread Carbs, Banana Cream Pie, Baked Zucchini Bread, Cookies and Donuts. Oh my gosh, I love this scent. It's so good. I do cut these in half, just so you know. I think her chunks are too big for my warmers. And I find that, you know, less is more with a lot of scents. This is the, oh, it's just the most gorgeous banana bread scent. I love it. Highly recommend. I have one more bag of this and I did I pick up? I think I picked up a mini melter bag in it. Yeah, I was trying to be good. My husband's like, no, you should just order. It's fine. Because I was trying, I'm trying to be on a low buy and I'm doing really well for me. Let's just be honest. And I wasn't going to order. And he's like, no, I think you should order. So I did. He's not a good influence. I love him, but it's like I'm trying to be good here. Okay, Vintage Chic. We have Backwoods Barbie drinks a bomb pop martini. Satsuma Strawberry Cotton Candy and Blue Raspberry Cherry Rocket Pop with Lemon Live Fizz. I was melting this in my bedroom. Really liked this. This is a really, really nice, fun, fruity, blue raspberry type of, you know, Rocket Pop blend. Yes, I really like that. I would get that again. We had... Oh, you guys are going to come for me. <laughs> oh, yikes. Do I even want to put this in here? <laughs> this is Zape Helium. Fruity Pebbles, Citrus Fizz, Strawberry Cotton Candy. Okay, so put away your Rotten Tomatoes. It's good, but I don't, I don't want to say, <laughs> I totally don't get the hype. I'm sorry, I said it. Love you guys. <laughs> but, I mean, it's good. It's, it's, a, it's a fun Fruity Pebbles blend, but I don't know. It wasn't like my socks weren't, wowed or knocked off. I don't know. So this was from uh, March of 21. So I don't know. Did I not cure it long enough? Am I missing something? I don't know. It was good. It was nice, but it wasn't like, oh my gosh, that's the best blend I've ever had, which I was kind of expecting. Maybe my expectations were too high. Could possibly be. So <laughs> put the tomato, the rotten tomatoes down. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I think my expectations were too high. Okay. We have L3 Waxy Wonders Blonde AF, Ditsy Blonde Ice Lemon Danish. This was a custom that we did, and I rebagged it out of the bakery bags. This is so good. I mean, just a gorgeous, delicious lemon Danish with a little bit of the blonde moment in here. This is oh, fabulous. I love this one. So I will be melting that one for sure, and we'll be happy to put that in my leftovers basket. We had footy pajamas from Hayden Rose, sweet lavender, blueberry, and lemon laundry. This is really nice, actually. It's so funny. I thought I had another one, and I did find it. I was moving some candles around. And for some reason, I had a couple of souffles that had fallen behind a couple candles. So this was one of them, and I'm super happy about it. I do like this lavender in here, but I feel like the longer this is cured, and this was from February, um, the lemon and the blueberry come out. So it's a really nice blueberry lemon laundry. So I like this one. I'm happy with that one. I'm glad I have another. I have Ava's Country Cupboard Beach. Mm, you guys know how I feel about this scent. Warm sand, salty sea air, jasmine, and mandarin. This is just, this is going to be a staple. I just melt a couple of cubes in my bathroom and I, I just love it. It's so pretty. It just kind of, you get that almost like, so it smells like copper tone. 
but really the longer that it goes, it ends up being more of a gorgeous, like body care, almost perfumey note in the best way. And I know that Bobby Brown Beach is, <laughs> is a perfume, but like initially you really get that, wow, this smells like copper tone, but so the longer that it melts, the more gorgeous perfume it becomes. So yeah, that will be a staple. We used some of this L3 Lunar Eclipse Smoked Vanilla Sugar Plum Boardwalk Mellow Clouds. I love this. This is just such a gorgeous like plum BMC mixture to me. I just love it. It's fantastic. So I used some of that in my bathroom. We had Southbound Carnival Time, which is sweet cotton candy, caramel apples, blue raspberry snow cones, and fresh funnel cake. So when this was melting, this was really, to me, like a caramel apple funnel cake. That's what it smelled like. And it doesn't smell like that so much on cold. I mean, you get that, but you also get the blue raspberry and the cotton candy. And melting, it really smells like the caramel apple funnel cake. That's what it smells like. It's good either way. So there's six of these left, so I will enjoy these one more time. I would get that again. It was good. It was just different because it smells different on warm and cold, which is why we have to melt, right? Okay, L3 Tropical Punch. This is really nice. So this was good. This was a nice, fun, tropical fruit punch blend that I melted in my bedroom. I liked that one. And, oh, this is a staple. Blonde Moment from L3. So this is a trig tart. I just cut off, you know, the trigs and just put it in there and mix it. This is usually a mixer for me. It could be melted on its own. It's perfectly fine and gorgeous, but I like to mix and play around with it. I love this scent. Will forever repurchase. It's so good. Like, what do they say? It's like a sparkling cranberry raspberry champagne. It's just so fun and not super bubbly, but it's just a fun fruity blend. We have Southbound Sugar Cookie Latte. I did rebag it. It was in a bag like this, but I only have four pieces left, so I thought I would rebag it in a smaller container. So this is freshly baked sugar cookies with sweet vanilla, roasted coffee beans, and sweet cream. I really like this. This is good. This is a really nice coffee sugar cookie blend. I would totally get this again. I really enjoyed it. It was very, very nice. I got the fresh coffee, and sometimes that gets lost in blends. Um, the coffee just kind of disappears, <laughs> but I did really enjoy it. We had Teddy B's Dirty Blonde, Orange Sherbet, Marshmallows, Champagne, Raspberries, and Cranberries, which is Blonde Moment. So I like this. I think I like this better in my bedroom, mixed with maybe even a little bit more Blonde Moment or Fizzy Pop, because I feel like the Orange Sherbet makes it a little bit too creamy for me. I like it a little bit more fizzy and sweet. But this is good. I do have another bag of this. So I just cut the chunks. I think I cut these in four. They were huge though. So it depends on the size of your chunks. So I cut these chunks down and will enjoy playing mixology with this. It's a really nice, for me, it's a really nice base because I like it a little bit more fruity and fizzy so I can add things to it to amp it up. So if you like your Blonde Moment scents and you want to try it with a little bit creamier, scent family or fragrance in there I would give this one a try I liked it it was strong it was good okay so we had VCS Burton Ernie Satsuma blueberry and lemon lime fizz topped with orange whip this was nice so I liked this one this was fun this is a nice I like her Satsuma and I wish it was a little stronger but I can't get every blend of hers with <laughs> super overwhelming Satsuma I guess but this was super super good I, I really got the blueberry and the Satsuma from this I like it I will enjoy melting the rest of this for sure we had Pina Colada from Hayden Row I love Pina Colada scents this was so good so strong highly recommend this was fabulous really really enjoyed that one we had Tropical Twister from Savannah Blue this is blue Hawaiian blue raspberry slushy and saltwater taffy I don't know this really kind of got lost so I will probably mix this. This might go in my bedroom mixed with like, I don't know, Tropical Punch or something else. This was really on the light side. I don't know if it was a saltwater taffy that kind of really tamed down the sugary fun of this blend. So probably wouldn't get this again, but I will probably mix it a little bit and see what I can do with it. And then finally we have Southbound Candle Company, Good Morning Sunshine, Strawberry, Orange Juice, and Creamy Vanilla Smoothie. This was really, to me, like an orange creamsicle with hints of strawberry. I liked this, so I would have liked a little bit more strawberry kick in this because I have a lot of orange creamsicle blends, and so I would have liked a little bit stronger with this strawberry, but this was good. I will enjoy melting the rest of this as well. 
So those are my unempties. Like I said, I will be putting them back into a basket upcoming. It'll be here before we know it, right? <laughs> the time just goes by so fast. And so, yeah, so I will put it in an upcoming basket and use these again. So let me know in the comment section down below what you have been melting this week. What was your favorite? Did, did you get through a lot of wax or are you kind of, because I know this time of year, a lot of people are traveling or they're outside by their pool. God knows if I had a pool, we would be outside in the pool all the time. So maybe you're not going through as much wax, but it has been so hot and humid here. We're kind of hanging out in our house and enjoying the air conditioning. So I hope you are staying cool and enjoying your summer and I will see you next time. Bye everybody.